Hey guys, how's it going? So a lot of you have been asking me since I've been doing my tourist reviews if I have a good holster company that I could recommend and lately specifically with the Taurus G3. So I have a holster here that I really like. It's made by Forge Tech Holsters and what you're about to see is clips that I took from my last night's live stream. I do stream every Friday night at 9.30 Eastern Time. If you guys like live streams, come in and join us. So I thought I would put this up here just so you guys could see what's going on. He does make holsters for obviously the Taurus G3. This is an OWB. He also makes them for the Taurus G2C, the Taurus G2S, the Taurus Spectrum, and also the Smith & Wesson M&P Shield. IWB, OWB, different colors, etc. I'm going to go over that in the rest of the video, how you can get a hold of him. The links are going to be down in the description. And this video is going to be a little bit shorter because, well, short by my standards. I don't really do real short videos, guys. Sorry. But I'm going to have a longer video that's going to post around the same time as this one that's more in-depth on not only his holsters, but holsters in general so if you're just really new to holsters and want to watch something that's you know about a half hour long that goes in depth with just a lot of holster things in general the other video is going to be up there too i'm just putting both of these up just for your preference on how much time you want to spend you know watching a holster video so again these are clips coming up here that i took from my um, recent live stream and i definitely recommend this company i'm totally loving the holster I don't know about you guys, but I've been finding myself carrying OWB a lot more lately, even for concealed carry, right? And especially for range carry. I like to carry OWB. Now, they make OWB and IWB for the G3, also G2C, G2S, etc. So these are actually pretty affordable, guys. They're handmade Kydex by a small business. Now, they're located here in Michigan, but they'll ship to you guys all the way across the country, so you don't have to be local. And just overall, and you guys are going to see a couple videos on this, and then I actually have like a 35-minute video already recorded about this holster, but it's really more of a holster 101, just explaining holsters more thoroughly for people that are just getting into holsters, right? But right off the bat, very high degree of fit and finish along all of the edges. They are burnished down, very, very smooth. I like the way the mouth of it has a nice taper. The fasteners are of very high quality. Okay. Slick smooth on the inside, which is what you want. A little bit of texture on the outside. And what's really cool is he sells it in two different options. So you're looking at like 30 bucks to get it with a paddle. And the, um, on the holster itself, 30 bucks, which is not bad. And it's hard for me to really explain it without you guys, you know, touching it. But like everything on this is like very, very smooth. I don't see one burr, one snag, one flaw. And this is nice that these areas are smoothed out because they could be rubbing up against your body, especially with an IWB. And they're certainly going to be rubbing against the gun. So... You can adjust your retention right here with these two screws, but the way I received it, the retention is just perfect where I can literally, you know, but it's real easy to draw from. I mean, look how smooth this is. I really like his design too, because check this out. When I'm wearing it on my hip, I don't know about you guys, right? But what I like to do every once in a while, and people say, oh, you shouldn't do this now. This is not one of my holster belt pants. This is like me out picking up leaves pants. Every once in a while, I don't know about you guys, but I like to kind of just put my hand here and I like to just kind of do a little tension check just to make sure it's still in there. Well, if you're just pushing down on the back strap, you're making your pants sag. Look at this little button here. It serves two purposes. And I don't even know if the second one here is his intended purpose. The first one's obviously, you put your finger there, right? Draw from the holster. It lines up perfect with that memory pad indexing point that's on the pistol, right? So that's its first and foremost use. But what I've been finding myself doing when I'm sitting there, you know, is grabbing onto the back. And see how I can just curl my finger up on here a little bit? That way I can, you guys see what I'm doing here? I can push down to make sure, just a quick retention check, with a little bit of upward pressure to keep it from moving my, you know, pants up and down. So... 
it's little things like that. After having a bunch of holsters that kind of separates what I think is a really nice holster versus one that's just eh, whatever. I also like his design too, where the reliefs are. So many people that make Kydex holsters get caught up too much into where the, you know, convex Kydex has to be molded, like around things, but they forget that it's nice to have a relieved area too. And that's what gives you the positive retention, right? But the very, very smooth reholstering and just that nice gentle click into place. I don't like my Kydex holster where it has to clunk and you have to have the retention all the way down. And this isn't exactly an accident. It actually has to do with the design. Now, are there many other good holster companies out there? I'm sure there are. I'm just literally sought out this company. So I put the link to his eBay store in there. And he's a small business and that's who I wanted to support. I didn't want to get in with any big industry company. Like this is a guy that's literally making the holsters by himself. He, from what I understand, is making about 10 holsters a day. So a busy business. He does it enough to be good at it. But this is not a corporate conglomerate where there's like Safari Land or any of those big companies. You know, you guys know what I'm saying. And that's who I'm all about. I own a small business. I like to support small businesses, you know. So, yeah. And the other thing, too, is like I said, go look at his eBay store. 100% positive feedback. So after I read all of that, I had been doing some research around town, asking some guys, and he was recommended by a couple of people, went to his eBay store. eBay's a rough place, trust me. You can sell the most perfect product ever. You'll get a negative feedback just randomly. 100% positive feedback. So there you go, guys. Now, here's what's cool. The paddle and the holster itself, 30 bucks. Free shipping. This is for OWB. That's because that's my preference. He has the IWBs, not a problem. If you click on that link I gave you, you can go in there and see the other options. Many other types of pistols too. Now check this out. This is this DOTS combat clip. This thing is pretty freaking cool. So you put your belt through there. It clips into place. What I like about it is a couple of little details. So it basically has a little push button. You push the button and it can now swing freely, right? Okay. If you don't want to push the button, like when you're carrying for the day, you just slide this little lever. Now it disables the button and you're positively locked in place. And you're locked on a round locking bar. Now, again, just little details, which really matter. You can see we have a squared off. We have a squared off lodge here that's going to lock around a round bar. Do you know how many holster clips I've seen where it's square on square and it just doesn't mesh right? So... This is a big plus that we actually have a steel place here where the clip meshes, which that's good. Steel is going to be, you know, generally stronger than polymer. And it's a round surface and it just, you can see how nice that works. I would also note there's a round hinge here that's made out of the same type of steel on the top. Maybe we can see that from the, um, maybe the camera will pick that up. There we go. Now here's what else is cool about this. I have it set up right now for a more of a vertical carry right on my hip. You can also take this same, the same, um, the same dots. There we go. Combat loop here, and see how there's nine holes. Well, he has three spots in the holster here that it connects to, and I would note that it is properly bolstered. So see the bolster coming up from the bottom. This whole area of the holster is bolstered, also reinforced. You know, like a gusset, if you will, right? And you can literally switch this around and make it where it's now horizontal. And that would be to put on like your pals webbing, molly webbing. Say you wanted this as a chest rig pistol. There you go. One more thing that's really cool. So there's our space from here to here that can be adjusted for your belt. Different widths of belts all the way up to two inches. I'll check this out. So two inches. This little peg comes out. It's like a tongue and groove fit. We can take it all the way down to a quarter of an inch. So now with this spacer in here, okay, we only have, can you guys see that there? We just have that minute amount of area in between there. This would be so you could hook the holster to cordage. So we can go from paracord to pals, molly webbing, all the way up to and including a two inch belt, vertical or horizontal. Now, if you want this clip, 
you can get it for 40 bucks. So the holster as pictured here with this combat clip here and the same holster, 40 bucks. If you also want the paddle, so you can have, you know, options, you can switch them back and forth, $43. So everything you see here, I just dropped something again. See, Jeremy Wilson had to jinx me. I'm That's becoming my new trademark, isn't it, man? But there you go. The paddle, which is made in the USA. That's awesome. A nice thick polymer. Black oxide hardware on everything on this holster, by the way. Real nice looking screws. Same thing with the little recessed nuts. 43 bucks free shipping for everything we see here. 30 bucks for the holster with the paddle. 40 bucks for the holster with the clip. Free shipping. So there you guys go. That's my recommendation. It took me some research over the last few weeks to find somebody that I could recommend. I've been messing around with this holster enough on my own. I had some personal recommendations, looked at the eBay feedback, started emailing back and forth a little bit with the maker himself. He seems like a really nice guy. And those are kind of the only types of people that I want to support. So, And then look, guys, I swear to God on my life, I'm not getting any commission at all, nothing. He did send me this holster to the channel. He did send me this holster. But that's after I sought him out and was getting ready to buy it and had some questions and said, I want to know some questions about this before I can you know, do my video. And he said, man, just let me send it to you, you know? So he sent it to me. I'll probably end up buying another one with my own money later. But again, no commission, nothing. But if you guys do buy one from him, Forge Tech Holsters, tell him 2AEDU sent you. Because if he sees that, you know, we're getting a good response and good community here, maybe he'll send me something else and I'll give it away to you guys. So I don't, I don't need a bunch of holsters, guys. I really don't. So yeah, just tell him I sent you and he can be part of our little community here and hang out with us, you know? This is the paddle. This is called a paddle holster clip here. So now if it's an IWB, it's going to have different attachments. And you can check out his eBay store. He's got all of those too. It's forgedtechholsters.com. Go over to his IG, Forged Tech Holsters on Instagram. He has a bunch of really, really cool things on there. Really nice pictures actually. So not trying to make this sound like an infomercial, guys, but this is how I am. I really have to get excited about your product before there's even a chance for it to show up on this channel. And so far, you have I have to come to you before I'm going to show your product. So if you guys want to know why I'm acting like I'm all geeked about this, it's because I love it. I love small businesses. And like I said, I, I got really, really excited about this before I even, before I even did the video. If I would have got it and it would have totally sucked... I would have sent it back and said, I don't like it. So there you go. If you go to his website, he can do custom stuff there. eBay is basically stuff that they're all built to suit. Every single one of them is, right? And, but they're still like, he has kind of like a menu you can order off of for eBay. Tons of other colors available. Even on eBay, you can get five or six colors. I just want a black. I'm going for the whole Ford Model T thing. Look, I'm a Metro Detroit resident. Like Henry Ford said, you can get the Model T in any color you want as long as it's black. So I went with the black holster. There's like six stock colors you can choose from right there on eBay. If you want the exotic patterns, the cool stuff, custom for a certain laser, light, whatever you're talking about, that's where you reach out to him either on his Instagram, Forge Stock Holsters. If you guys go over to my gram and look at who I'm following, you'll see I'm following him. So if you forget anything else, go look over on my gram page. You'll see I'm following him. You can reach out to him, instant message there. And task review, tell him you're a good buddy of mine. And yeah, say, hey, man, I'm friends with 2A EDU. I mean, all you guys are in here are my friends. I didn't ask him ahead of time if he's going to give discounts to anyone. Look, I'm not that big of a channel, guys. I'm just trying to look out for fellow small business people. Most of the channels that say click on my exclusive link and get the 10% discount, there's been a financial arrangement made and there's nothing wrong with that. But in this case, I have no financial arrangement whatsoever with this man. I sought him out, love his holster to death. So there you guys go. All right, guys, thanks for watching and have a good one.